and welcome to this video where we will be going over the L8705 CV voltage regulator. Now I have the data shape pulled up for it, so just so we can go over the information. So we're using the TO220 model, as you can see, as you remembered from the previous video, and it's the biggest and it fits into a breadboard pretty well. That's why we're using it. Now we have, it can output up to 1.5 amps and we're using the five volt model. Hint that L87805 means 5 volts. Then it has a bunch of pretty cool things uh, that we're not going to really care about, except for the fact that it outputs 5 volts and it can take in a bunch of voltages. Okay, so let's go all the way down here. And as you can see, we have output, ground, and input. That's how simple it is. Output is going to be about 5 volts if you put in the correct amount in the input, which we will be putting in 9 volts in. And we'll connect the ground to our ground. And here, um, you can input anywhere from 5 to 18. Now let's go all the way down to here. So the output voltage can be anywhere from 4.9 to 5.1 depending on the conditions, but it could be 4.8 to 5.2. But the exact value doesn't really matter too much to us now, because as long as it's pretty close to 5 volts, we're fine. And uh, the rest of this information won't be too important to us. So let's get right into wiring it in the next section. I'll see you then. Bye. Wait, actually, sorry. I should say next section of this video. Bye. Okay, so now let's wire up our voltage regulator. And since mine is a little bit broken, the wires are a little bit bent. So I'm, I connected it use, using some wires. I'm going to need some more to plug it into the breadboard. So I'm going to grab a few wires over here. And I'm going to start by wiring it up. Since I have female to female wires, I'm going to wire up a male to male to each of these. Okay, now let's look at which ones are for which. So the top one right here is output. So the one with the green wire is output. Then the one in the middle, which is a blue wire, is the input, or the, sorry, the ground. And the final one is going to be the input. So the green one will go to the positive, it's gonna go to, I'm just going to put it on the breadboard somewhere, and then the ultrasonic sensor can connect to it first. So the ultrasonic sensor wire, the other one, is right here. The blue one. Okay, so this is going to go in this row with it. Okay, now we will take a very long wire. In fact, to do this, I'm going to take this and I'm going to attach another male wire to it. And connect that to the VN of the node MCU. And connect that to that row as well. Okay. Now, let's wire up the input to the battery. Now, the input is going to go, I'm going to put it on this row, the final, one of the final rows. So this row right here, and then this one is going to go to ground, which is the blue row. Great. So that is our basic wiring. Make sure you've got your 9-volt battery ready. And in the next section, or video, sorry, we're going to be starting with the Arduino final program. I'll see you then. Bye.